In today's video, I faced a purple belt who has always been one step ahead of me until today. Our story takes place at TFDC. You may recognize this gym from the last video where I fought my dad. Jordan, how much time is left? Today we face a different challenge. Neil boasts one of the most balanced loadouts in the gym, playing a little bit of judo, wrestling, and good old fashioned leg locks. How can we defend all of these different techniques at once? By taking the offense. Okay, so I'll initiate the roll by going for a low sweep single. Neil avoids it and moves right into a judo throw. I maintain my balance in the first attempt, but I'm caught off guard as he sweeps me backwards and I nearly concede the bottom. Luckily, I use my head to drive into his chin, allowing me to create space and stand back up. As we re-engage, I can either go for the same gripless sweep single or I can be a smart blue belt and actually set something up. I'll start by grabbing a wrist grip and wait for a specific reaction. As Neo drops his arm, it opens up a very powerful arm drag, so I swing onto my hip and come up on a single leg. I'll finish the takedown by dropping all of my weight onto his leg, forcing him down in the mat. However, because of my lack of pressure and one sneaky foot placement, he then uses everyone's favorite line drill to get back up. But just as we do that, I drop into reverse de la Hiva and try to do one of these. But I end up just being sat on and forced to recover guard. Neil immediately starts to try and trap my knee. This is a big deal because if he manages to do that, he'll have a lot of control over my ability to create space. This is also amplified by a collar grip keeping me from arching away, so I need to start moving now. I realign our center lines to remove the threat of angle that Neil has against me. I'll then strip the collar grip so I can gain some mobility. As we rise back up, I punch on a cross collar and before Neil even has a chance to break the grip, I fall to my hip and walk onto a single leg. I try to finish it in a similar style to the first time, but Neil maintains good balance, so I just decide to send it and drive forward. We land in half guard and I try to work the body lock pass, but unfortunately my body lock game feels more like an awkward hug than an actual effective passing technique. This allows Neil to recover to close guard. I'll then use one of the most effective guard breaks in BJJ, just standing up. While his sleeve grip could allow him to transition to an omoplata or possibly another arm lock attack, I'm confident that I can swim my elbow to the inside before he has a chance to do that. I'll use my elbow to relieve pressure from the De La Hiva hook, but then I have to choose between that or Neo getting my collar, which could be a lot worse. I dance around back and forth between breaking the hook and keeping my distance to prevent Neo from getting game-changing grips. Thankfully, I managed to strip both legs off of me and move into a dominant passing position. Well, normally I would have went for my signature knee slice pass, but because I wasn't able to properly staple Neo's leg, he managed to pommel it back to the inside. However, this did offer an alternative opportunity that you'll see here. I first attempt a long step pass, but he catches my foot as I back step. I keep my pressure heavy, and as we square up, Neo's foot travels to the outside of my leg. This allows me to shuffle towards the left and walk right into a leg drag. My arm gets caught for a second, but I extract it and settle into side control. I'll step over for mount and nearly get caught in quarter guard. I felt Neil start to reach his leg over to grab my heel, so I quickly pommeled my foot over his legs to avoid it. Unfortunately, I relieved the pressure off of his head, allowing him to turtle. Now, if you watch the intro, you know what's about to happen. However, it still requires a few specific things to set it up. I want to threaten my hooks on Neil first to make him shell up and close off the openings to the inside, but simultaneously it's also distracting him from his collar. As I start attacking his collar more, he gets even more defensive, so I need to find out a way to get him to open up. And then I figure it out. I use my left knee to really start putting piercing pressure on his shell while also fainting above his head. This made him turn his chin up and also retract his elbow, giving me access to his collar grip. And now it all comes down to timing. How do I buy myself enough time to throw my leg over before he rolls out a turtle? The answer is by using my right arm to pressure his back, giving me the window I needed to hit this. While we did get Jesse's approval, the round is not over yet and Neil may or may not get revenge. Let's find out what I did to end up in this predicament and maybe how you can avoid it. Neil decides to start down, but little do I know he's just doing that to trick me. As he sits back with my collar grip, he drags me forward, forcing me to step. He times that perfectly and comes up on an ankle pick. To try to escape the takedown, I do some spinny blue belt that leads to an even worse position. 
I extend away and then quickly bring my knees back to my chest to recover my guard. However, Neil keeps my ankles crossed and eventually moves into a partial leg drag. Not respecting the position he has me in, I'm still playing calm, and it's not until he sits back with my legs folded that I realize that I could get submitted here. What he has locked up right now I believe is called a Texas Clover. As he starts to crank, I actually turn into him and expose a different type of knee bar, hoping he switches to just that one so I could potentially roll out of it. He keeps this grip tight and he's not letting me get any space whatsoever. I am frantically searching for a way to escape while also trying to relieve the pressure off of my legs. It's starting to look really bad as Neil locks his legs around me and then suddenly everything stops. Time conveniently runs out and I manage to bell escape at the last second. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe and comment down below what your favorite moment was. We all know mine. As always, make sure to show some love to Neil in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.